always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. What a beautiful night across West Michigan, not only for those high school football games, many of which are now underway, but also our prize, which is in its first full day. Let's take you out to Rose Park Circle. Lots of folks taking advantage down there. Beautiful weather to do so. And overall, tomorrow's going to be a pretty nice day overall. We'll have to watch the possibility of a stray shower or two during the afternoon and evening. For the most part, it looks like uh, weather's going to be very cooperative with high temperatures in the low to mid-70s. Just not as much sunshine as what we saw today. Better chance for rain showers arrives overnight Saturday into Sunday. More on that in a moment. First, I'll show you current temperature. 69 in Holland and Grand Rapids. 69 in Fremont. 70 in Muskegon, Greenville, and South Haven. 72 in Algon. A nice, a mild night out there. Storm Shack Live has us dry for now. If we look off to the northwest, yeah, that cold front is making some progress now situated over the lake in Wisconsin, but it's moving slowly, so we still have at least another 24 hours before that front approaches West Michigan. Here's future cast. You can see the cloud cover will be on the increase as we head into the morning hours of tomorrow. Mostly high-level clouds. They move in from northwest to southeast, and uh, that means that, yeah, the sunshine will be filtered, and at times it'll be hidden, but we could still get some sunshine through the day. Can't entirely rule out a stray shower during the evening. However, it looks like the best chance for rain holds off until overnight, uh, Saturday into Sunday. Some stray showers stick around with us during the day on Sunday before we dry things out heading into Monday morning. We'll be cool in the wake of that cold front for Sunday and Monday. Highs held down in the upper 60s, which is about 5 degrees below average for this time of year. But then we warm up to see highs about 5 degrees above average for this time of year. Winds are light on the order of 5 miles per hour or so, give or take. And as we head through the remainder of this evening, temperatures are going to be nice. By the time we get to 11 o'clock tonight, temperatures will likely be all the way down in the mid-50s. Uh, we do eventually cool off into the low 50s. Here's a look at that 8-day forecast. Uh, temperatures expected, again, to rise pretty nicely in the next week. And that also comes along with lots of sunshine, especially uh, Tuesday through Friday. So all told, it looks like the most meaningful chance to rain comes Saturday night into Sunday. Beyond that, it's smooth sailing for much of next week. So yeah. uh, it's still a great looking forecast for us, Michelle. Yeah, sure is. Thanks, Blake.